Okay. Uh, I realize I have been talking a lot on the message boards about a product called Corrosion X. Um, and I've been talking up about how incredibly awesome this stuff is, but I haven't uh, exactly proven it. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, and uh, we are going to retreat my system with Corrosion X one more time so that we can show the people at home how to do it. And uh, then after that, I am going to prove it by putting it in some water. So give me just a second. I'm going to get the case on this taken apart. So, okay. So in taking the case apart, get your little screwdriver and just pop it into these little holes here and here. If you just stick it in there and, and lift, pry up on it, or I guess what would be towards the bottom of the base, and the case just pops right off. Now, inside, you've got this little tiny wire, and you can go ahead and just push this out a little ways. There we go. Now, once you get this out, you're going to want to unplug the fan. That plug is for the fan. And, and then once you get the wire popped out of there, you should be free to completely pull the case up and off of that. Now, I won't even bother with trying to get the plastic case off. You just want it up and out of the way um, so that you can dunk this inside the Corrosion X. So I'm going to wipe this off just a little bit because it's a little dirty. Probably go blow it off with the air compressor. Okay, now that it's nice and clean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bottle of Corrosion X, and you specifically want this end. You don't want the aerosol spray. I'm assuming you could probably just aerosol spray the thing and it'd be fine, but in the interest of being thorough, what you do is you want to pour your Corrosion X in here, and you'll notice it's just like motor oil almost, thin motor oil. And you want to put it in, I don't know, fill up the can about halfway. All right. And then simply take your Mamba Monster and dip it in. And actually, I'm still a little low on fluid, so I am just going to dump the rest of this in. Now I'm just using a tin can that once contained some green beans and uh, clean the thing out real good because you're going to dump all your Corrosion X back in your container here when you're done and save it for next time which is also why I wanted to clean off my ECS so normally you want to do this just once a year because um, this stuff will stick with the system now you'll notice inside my can you've got my ECS well dipped in there and you want to kind of swish it around a little bit and make sure that all the little bubbles are out of it. So I am just going to let that sit in there for just a couple minutes and uh, we'll be back. Okay, so um, what you want to do now that this thing is soaked for a while is you want to bring it up out of the fluid and you want to rest it on the edge of the cup. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video because I'm going to go drain this over a sink back into here. And let me tell you in advance, there's a reason why I've got a towel down. I've got this plastic on top of a plate here. This stuff is incredibly penetrating. If it gets on the table or anything like that, it'll ruin it. So you want to make sure that you keep a real protective workspace when you do this. Okay, so we're back. I drained all the fluid out of the can. The Mamba Monster Max itself is still um, very drippy. I don't know if you can see that there's a drip of the, the stuff right there. And what you want to do is you just want to set this 
like that. All of the connector holes are filled. You want to dump that out. So what I would do is I would just leave it about like that upside down on a rag just to allow the heat sink and the uh, connectors to drain out of the corrosion X but know that it's just fine to have the corrosion X in there um, for the connectors um, you know you can put it on the connectors for your motor that's just fine if you want to help waterproof it I will say it's a lubricant though so if you're pretty extreme with your savage um, and these tongs on the inside of this aren't uh, flexed out as much as they can um, you will end up popping these out of the Mamba Monster uh, and I mean it is going to be lubricated on the inside of this um, so so no matter what you are gonna have that happen so just kinda plan accordingly uh, and make sure that uh, your zip ties and, and all of that aren't putting any extra stress on those wires it's gonna make them pop out should you land nose first on that double backflip. Okay, let's see here. In the interest of time, I'm just going to kind of wipe this off a little bit. And the only reason why you want to kind of just drip dry it off is uh, um, you don't want um, the fluid collecting on that bottom plate um, of the case. Uh, and filling up the bottom of that but honestly um, that's pretty good so I'm gonna go get us a cup of water and um, we're gonna start the test okay so moment of truth I have my batteries I have my motor I have my Mamba and I'm gonna leave the case off so I can lift it up because I don't want to submerge the fan um, we're gonna put the Mamba in I'm going to plug her in, I'm going to use my control, I'm going to show you that it all works and that I'm a true believer in Corrosion X. So, here goes. Yeah, completely submerged, yellow light, reverse, forward, I'm telling you, this stuff is the real deal, don't forget it, Corrosion X, you can get it at buycorrosionx.com or Ace Hardware or anywhere else you can find this stuff, but I'm telling you, this works. Good stuff.